Uh, so on Wednesday morning, leaving downtown, headed down Route 5, I saw something, and I needed to call Brett to tell him exactly what I just saw. Here's how it went in case you missed it. I'm Brett Allen Clay. What did you say is going on over on Route 5? I said there was a slowdown on Route 5. A girl driving a station wagon had her kayak fall off the top of her car. She got out, and she's just in a bikini, so everybody in the world is stopping to be, quote-unquote, good Samaritan. <laughs> Talk about a little rubbernecking, right? I even saw some of the construction guys drop their jackhammers to come over and help her. <laughs> hey, I think she might need some help. I might need to go help her. I thought about it, but I figured they looked like they had a situation handled, and uh, <laughs> I need to... Be able to sleep in the house tonight, not the dog house. <laughs> Why is beyond your way? So that happened on, on uh, Wednesday morning. And how did we figure this out? We have the bikini girl in studio to join us. <laughs> How are you? Katie, Katie? Katie? Katie Melvin Katie, of Hamburg. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. So we, we tracked her down. We were able to find her. <laughs> so this is what you were wearing? This is what I was wearing. That's a bikini. It is not a bikini. <laughs> that is not a bikini. You were calling that a bikini? Hey, in, in our day, Dale Wright, that's a bikini. That's a bikini. <laughs> in yeah. our day, Clay, come on. Maybe in Dale's day. I think that's what men wore to the beach in Dale's day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so tell us the story, Katie. What happened? All right, yeah. Uh, this is the real story, okay, all right? Okay. I bought a ratchet strap. Well, my boyfriend helped me buy a ratchet strap, and obviously I didn't know how to use it. So I strapped it to, like, my car and the kayak holder, and I just didn't do it tight enough. Oh. So it kind of, like, flapped off the kayak holder and was dangling on the side of my car. Oh. So I pulled over and kind of stared at it for a couple of minutes. <laughs> and, and someone I'm telling pulled over you, to help me. There was a lot of traffic that was slowing down to help. How's the kayak? It's good. It's fine. I think that's like my worst nightmare is causing some sort of... One time my car just stopped on the busiest intersection and it was the center lane. Like oh. there was no getting around it. That's like my personal yeah. nightmare. So the fact that you were on Route 5... I mean, at least I got... Off. I mean, it was yeah. in the construction area, but there was like a side part, so... <laughs> I was I was contemplating just keeping driving. I'm like, maybe it'll stay on. I'm like, no, I'll pull over. <laughs> National Spelling Bee was last night. You know how to spell kayak? Yes. Do you? K-A-Y-A-K. How about canoeing? Oh. C-A-N-O. E? Is there an E in there somewhere? If you, do, if you yes. say the can, if, if you spell it, it is with the E. If, if yeah, the yeah. Spell canoe there? and then an I-N-G. Oh, okay. Propulsion? Was... Can you spell propulsion? <laughs> Never mind. <Damn. laughs> Where is this going? Uh, where are you? Uh, <laughs> do I anything? Katie uh, works at Manja in Orchard Park. I sure do. Is the rooftop open yet? Yes, it is. So, you know. Every uh, weekday at 5 o'clock. If anybody's looking for lunch or dinner this weekend, yeah. you go in. Bikini Girl will be working. Yes. <laughs> Ask for Bikini Girl. <laughs> oh, what's my the, God. What's the best tip you ever got? Oh, uh, strap your kayak in. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> On your way to work with Jay Daniels.